How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. And today I'm going to be quickly demonstrating how you can access the dark web safely. Now, the dark web is the part of the Internet where users can access unindexed web content anonymously through special browsers like the Tor browser. While the dark web is popularly associated with illegal activities, it is also used by the intelligence community, whistleblowers, members of the media and ordinary citizens whose communication may be monitored or restricted by the government. Now, the thing about using the dark web is that while nobody can really tell what you're doing on the dark web, the government or your ISP can still see that your own IP address is linked to the dark web, which is why it's still not exactly very safe to access the dark web through the Tor browser uh, with your IP address. So for maximum security and encryption, you want to use a VPN. That way you'll be using an IP address that doesn't really belong to you but instead it belongs to the VPN provider. And of course you need a secure VPN provider that doesn't collect any logs so that they don't rat you out to the uh, government, let's say if you're a whistleblower or something like that. Uh, now you've got the Tor browser, which is going to be the gateway to the dark web. And uh, while again, it does make you anonymous while you're on the Tor browser itself, the government or your ISP can still see that your personal IP address is linked to the Tor browser. So what you want to do is, first of all, go to the torproject.org forward slash download, download the Tor browser, and you'll have a folder that looks like this. But before starting the Tor browser, what you want to do is use a VPN. So I've tested over a couple of dozen VPNs. I've narrowed it down to these three as the best overall. They all vary in budgets and features. So pick and choose depending on your own situation and what you're looking for out of these VPNs. You'll find all the links that you need in the description down below, by the way, with regards to reviews and and links to pricing and discounts that'll take you straight to these vpns so it's a very simple procedure just connect to a server using any of these vpns and make sure if you're in a censorship heavy country let's say or if you want to make sure that none of your information leaks out use a security feature called the kill switch now there are other features included with these vpns but that's what the review below is for so you've got the kill switch, which will kill or stop your internet connection if the VPN disconnects unexpectedly. And this will make sure that you're only going to be connected to the internet while you're secured by the VPN tunnel, preventing any rare IP leaks. So you turn this on and you click OK. And it's the same thing with uh, NordVPN. Let's say I'll go back to the kill switch right here and you just turn it on. You also have the app kill switch, which will kill selected applications when you disconnect from the VPN instead of killing your entire connection. And again, with Surfshark, you do have that kill switch. Now, in my case, I don't really need the kill switch, so I'm just going to go ahead and turn it off and click OK and just select any server. Really, it doesn't matter. You've got over 3000 servers in 94 countries with Express, over 5600 servers servers in 59 countries with NordVPN and over 3,200 servers in 100 countries with Surfshark. Any of these VPNs will work just fine since they're all very high performance premium VPNs and they have an independently audited no logs policy. So you can make sure that none of these VPNs are collecting your data to sell it to an ISP or a government body or third party advertising companies. So again, just pick any of these VPNs, connect to a server. Um, let's just go, for example, with the Dallas server with ExpressVPN right here. And then now that I have the IP address of Dallas, so if I pull up my IP finder right here, you'll see that uh, it will show that I'm actually in Dallas, even though I'm not in Dallas. So now I can be sure that I'm using this Dallas server or IP address in order to access uh, the Tor browser safely without my ISP thinking or knowing rather that I am accessing the dark web. So this is how I can completely and fully encrypt everything about my connection. And I can just click connect and I will have a connection established with the Tor browser and the dark web. And that's as simple as it gets with regards to accessing the dark web safely. If you guys are interested in any of these VPNs. You'll find links to pricing discounts in the description down below, as well as full reviews if you'd like to learn more about the privacy policy, speed streaming, and torrenting capabilities, as well as security and features. And in case you're not satisfied with any of these VPNs for whatever reason, you can get yourself that refund through the 30 day money back guarantee. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.